So welcome to another DK Custom Products video. Going to be unboxing some parts that came in the mail. Here we go. Let's see what's in here. I think I know. I think it's a backrest. The backrest that I've been using for the last 15 years is an old Harley discontinued one. I've gone through two of them, bought both of them used. This is a brand new backrest. Here we go. Harley Davidson Touring Installation Instructions. And this is for the Tri Glide. It also fits all the two wheel bikes. I have one of these on my soft tail and it's a really comfortable backrest so I'm going to be trying it out on the tri-glide so there's the backrest instructions with a single washer there pretty simple instructions too and the bracket that gets bolted on underneath the seat. And I think this slides in. Let's see, that's toward the driver. I even have a little sticker there so you know which way to orient it. And then this just slides in. Why do they call it a driver? You don't drive a motorcycle, you ride a motorcycle. They should say rider. Anyway. And I think that this mounts at an angle, but we're going to find out. We're going to go install this thing. Okay, so over here you'll see I've been riding with the grasshopper backrest on the soft tail. I don't know, for five, six years. This is two, no, I think eight or nine years. Anyway, it's really comfortable. And so this is the backrest I've been riding with on... The Road King, the Ultra, and all three tri-glides. This is the second one, but the same style. Harley discontinued this over a decade ago. The first one wore out after about 100,000 miles, and I replaced it with this used one that probably has 150, 175,000 miles on it, but it's just completely worn out. And uh, I'm leaning back too far, and uh, I've tried to fix it. Just haven't been able to. So I'm going to try the grasshopper and see if it's as comfortable on here for me and Mary as it is on the soft tail. So got to take this one apart. Got to take this one apart. There's my air hawk. Got to reach in here and get this backrest out. You can see how worn out this thing is. It's all tore up. The adjuster quit working. And I jerry-rigged it with a bunch of washers in there. But it's just all bent up. So, we're going to put a new one in. First thing to do, remove the seat. it's a lot easier on these later year models where they make a thumb screw so you don't have to put a screwdriver back there now what I need to do is remove this bracket which is specifically for that backrest because you can see with the uh, grasshopper backrest it gets its own bracket that goes right there and uh, I said earlier there was one washer, there's two washers there. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this and get the grasshopper installed. Alrighty, so we're going to remove the hardware for the Harley backrest. And actually I'm going to loosen this before I finish loosening that doesn't torque around and 
make all kind of movement. Had a lot of thread lock around there. Yeah. All righty. We'll finish taking this off. And of course, those bolts you'll notice also are what hold the grab handles on. And these grab handles, a lot of time they get into people the rider's thighs, and um, a lot of people remove them because of that. But other uh, passengers like the grab handles, so they have something to grab onto in the curves and such. And that's why we made the FB16s to space out the passenger floorboards. Get the rest of the bracketry off for the old Harley backrest. There we go. Now, per the instructions of this new backrest, remove seat assembly. They don't know that you already had one on there, so they say attach supplied bracket to the two bolts under the fender with the welded side facing the driver. And I'm going to tell these people at Grasshopper that there's no driver on a motorcycle. There's a rider and there's a passenger. Reinstall seat assembly, slide backrest through slot into the receiver, ride safe. Okay. So let's put this on there. I'm going to get some thread locker, which they don't say to use on here. We never ever put a bolt into a Harley without using thread locker on it. And um, so we're going to do that right now. Let's So we're going to put these right here, through there, and use the washers that they supplied. Two washers. And let's get the thread locker. Let's get the thread locker on both of these fasteners here. Got to put the washer through here. Put this through here. And line that up right there. There we go. Got that bugger started. Let's do the other one. Now here's the interesting thing. Now that I got both of these in here. Obviously, this backrest is adjustable. They don't address, address it in the instructions at all. So I'm not sure where I'm going to put this. I think I'm going to put it all the way forward. And then if it's not comfortable there, I'll take the seat back off, loosen these, and move it back. Actually, I'm probably going to put it right about in the middle and tighten it down in the middle. They don't address that in the instructions at all. So let's tighten this down. And obviously because it's slotted, it can be end up going crooked. Trying to keep it straight here. Okay. I'm 
put the seat back on real quick. And just check it without tightening it down. Uh, I gotta take my thumb screw out of the way here. Okay. Then they say just slide it into the slot. Oh, that's nice. So looking at that where it's sitting, you know, it's back further than here. So I think I'm going to move this all the way forward. Let's take the backrest out, take the seat off. That thread locker is still wet. If it was a day later or two days later, I would reapply a new thread locker because I'm going to break the bolts loose and the thread locker was already, if the thread locker was already dry, it would be of no use when I retightened it down. But it's still wet. So just loosen these. I'm going to like this new backrest. I know Mary's going to. So I'm moving that all the way forward. Seat back on. Put the backrest in. Yeah, that's better. I know Mary's going to like it better because I'm not going to be leaning so far back into her. Oh, yeah, and this is what I like about the other one. It has some good cushion in it. Yep, I'm gonna like this. Very cool. Now, one thing I should point out. Someone walking by, walking by, walking by, they know about these kind of backrests. Boop. And they just keep going through backrest. Now, the other one that was on there takes three to four seconds to steal. This one is less than a second. If you're worried about it, put it in your tour pack, put it in your saddlebag. But it just comes right out like that, goes right in mm -hmm. like that. So that installation is done. Gonna put my thumb screw back in, tighten the seat down, secure it. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you know when we come out with another video. And y'all ride safe out there. So we're going to be having a video coming out soon on what, what to know when you go from two wheels to three. Yeah, it's a whole new world. <laughs> so look for that video coming soon. What's really interesting is today was your first time you've ridden yeah, a trike. I've, I've sold thousands of trike parts to thousands of people. That's the first time I've actually operated a trike and it was an experience. <laughs>